Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create new solid layer. Right click, new and solid. Add name element 3D. Click OK. Go to FX, video copilot, element. And scene setup, import. Choose this 3D model. This is iPhone 15 and click open click ok we have 3d already model open inside and choose material 2 this is our display let's change name display click ok and we can choose color here or we can add diffuse texture so let's click ok and go to project let's right click new composition add name display and i will use vertical sizes like this and click OK. So let's close compensation, choose display, drag and drop main compensation and hide for now. And open compensation. OK, so for test, let's write here text, classification tool, again control D, move to here and again move to down. Back to main compensation and select these elements 3D, go to FX control and open these custom layers and custom texture maps. Choose layer 1, display composition. Back to scene setup. Choose display, go to diffuse, let's click non set. And click here, choose composition display. Click OK. OK, we have problem with UV mapping. Let's fix it. Choose this model and go to UV mapping. And texture mapping, let's choose here, box repeat. OK, here we go, it works. Also, we have problem here, but it's not problem for me. I will show only this display. Let's click OK. Select this element 3D. Let's close the settings and create new camera tool. Right click, new and camera and choose presses 50 millimeters. Click OK. And for control camera movements, we can use these three icons. Also, let's open camera options and all transform. We can use transforms here. And by the way, we can use null object for movements. For this, let's right click camera and create orbit null. But today I will use only these tools for transform and press C. Let's zoom to like this. Okay, so in this time, let's back to elements 3D and open world transform. And we have world position X and Y. We can control this position like this. And let's move to down like this. And let's create new position. Go to one second and move up. Let's select these elements 3D, press U for C active keyframes and choose two position keyframes. Right click keyframe ascent and easy or click F9 and the preview animation. Okay, let's go to graph editor, choose these graphs and make smooth animation. Okay, let's move to left more like this. Okay, back to keyframes and let's add rotation keyframes, open world rotation and we can use Y rotation. Let's go to here and chain rotation like this and create Y rotation keyframe, select elements 3D, press U for C new active keyframes and choose rotation keyframe, move to left and go to here, let's chain rotation 0 or let's change like this and select rotation keyframes, make it easy and preview animation ok, so select rotation keyframes, go to graph editor and choose this rotation. Let's make graph like this. Also this graph. Okay, let's move to left a little bit. Back to two frames, select last rotation two frame, move to here. Okay, not bad. And let's change to Z rotation like this and X rotation. Let's see. Nice. Not bad. So in this time, let's choose this camera one 
and go to here let's create all the position and rotation chip frames and go to here let's press c for zoom to here and let's zoom like this press c moved up again press c zoom like this and change like this and select these two position chip frames make it easy go to graph editor and let's choose these chip frames make it smooth like this let's see okay this very fast back to chip frames and select chip frames move to right move to right more and let's chip frames okay not bad and go to 5G frames let's press C and move it down like this and change camera view and preview animation okay select last few frames move to right and middle key frame move to center and go to graph editor and choose this middle two frames let's move to right okay that's good and back to two frames go to here and press c let's move to down like this and change camera angle okay and select two frames go to graph editor again select these middle two frames move to right and preview animation okay that's good and back to two frames go to here and select first two frames copy pass and select two frames again go to graph editor choose these graphs let's zoom to here and move to right okay back to two frames and in this time let's add some rotations here go to like this and chain rotation a little bit to left okay and go to last few frame let's chain rotation like this let's see okay that's good and select rotation two frames go to graph editor and choose this graph and make animation like this and choose work area okay and back to two frames and go to here let's chain rotation like this and in this time go to back let's create x and z rotations press u for c new active rotations and go to here let's chain rotation like this okay and here we can add new rotations let's see nice this is much more dynamic and here let's change rotation like this and select these all rotation keyframes frames for less edit and make it easy and in this time let's change rotation like this okay let's select work area and pre animation okay that's good i like it and choose work area for six seconds and preview animation nice very good so in this time let's close these settings and select elements ready go to scene setup let's add backgrounds go to presets environment backlight and environment here 
let's choose for example this environment and click checkbox for see background image okay let's open version 1 environment and use default blue red okay not bad let's click ok and preview animation nice and let's open display and create background color with solid choose color white and click ok move to behind of layers okay so and go to fs presses search effect gradient ramp and use gradient ramp for solid layer and let's use radial ramp and swap colors and move to down like this and you can change color like this here click ok and ramp scatter 100 and go to shape layers hold the second choose the render the rectangle tool and let's create one rectangle like this Clization tool and color let's use black let's open inside rectangle one rectangle path one and change redness okay and select shape layer one go to pen tool let's add like these elements and let's move to left a little bit okay and we can move to up like this let's add name one and text one move to behind of text one and write text high Clusation tool and change font size let's see here okay and we can animate these elements let's select this high link to layer one and select layer one move the anchor point down and press s change scale zero and create scale q frame go to 10 q frames right here 100 and make it easy let's see okay in this time we can use these q frames here let's see let's move the left a little bit like this okay back to two frames and let's add the balance of animation go to here let's write 110 go to some two frames 95 again some two frames 105 again some two frames 100 let's see okay let's move to left these two frames and this 102 let's see here okay not bad and let's try to change scale let's create new null object and move to here select this layer one link to null and change scale null And select this rectangle one open inside rectangle path one click size and change size like this okay and select text move to center nice let's select layer one control d for duplicate move to down let's open inside contents and shape one let's move to right like this okay we can change points like this so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments and have a good day good luck